A U.S. spokesperson Kirby gets asked, is it uh, physically possible to uh, evacuate the entire uh, civilian population from Rafa? And, and, but move them where, though? Like, are they moving them out of Gaza? Because that's, uh, that's forced displacement, which is a genocide. That's illegal to do. Um, and the United States shouldn't be supporting that. Though it is the Israeli government, and most of our government are Zionists, so they'll pretend to not support it and still support it. Uh, but yeah, where are the Palestinians supposed to go if the Israeli government, well, while the Israeli government is bombing Rafa? Admiral, um, can you just talk to us about the feasibility of moving the entire civilian population out of Rafa? Is that even physically doable? There's a lot of folks there, uh, MJ, more than a million. Some estimates have it almost at 1.5 million. Um, that's a lot of people that moved down to Rafa to get out of the fighting. And so, again, um, the... Yeah, the Israeli government told Palestinians that uh, Rafa was a safe place for them to go to. And look at them now, coming Rafa, because that's what that's their plan all along. The the task of providing for their safety at that number and in such confined spaces is difficult. There's no question about it. that's going to be a heavy lift for any military. It would be a heavy lift, uh, but uh, but that's the conversation that we want to keep having with our Israeli counterparts. That some, that, that I don't know what it's going to look like. We can't tell you what it's going to look like. That's really for the IDF to speak to, but. It absolutely has to be accounted for. So do you think it's a, it is a realistic goal, that it is viable to try to move those people out of that area? Well, let's see what the Israeli Defense Forces come up with. And if they... Okay, so the people bombing the Palestinians are the ones to decide how to move them out of the... Uh, that doesn't make any sense. Go ahead with the ground incursion anyway before the civilian population can safely be moved out of that area. Would there be any consequences from the U.S.? I know Trevor just asked a question about, you know, potentially stripping, you know, military support or security assistance. What would the consequence be for Israel if they went ahead and did that anyway? I don't want to get into hypotheticals on that. We've we've been very clear with our Israeli counterparts privately and publicly about what our expectations are for the treatment of the innocent people uh that are that are down there near rafa um yeah you you may publicly uh criticize the israeli government but when they continue to kill innocent civilians and you think about it what does your criticizing mean it does nothing um if this was any other like group of people you uh, the united states would be either uh uh, freezing their assets or bombing them to hell, but because it's the Israeli government, nothing happens. And we're going to continue to, as I mentioned to Trevor, we're going to continue to support Israel. They have a right and responsibility to go after Hamas. We're going to make sure that they can continue to do that. But, as but it's obvious that they're not just going after Hamas. They're also killing innocent civilians. And if you continue to fund their genocide, uh, well, that means you're complicit in the genocide by the Israeli government. As from the very beginning, we want to make sure that they do that in a way that fully accounts for the preservation of innocent life and civilian infrastructure. And just since the president... Palestinian infrastructure and lives or Israeli infrastructure and lives because like 80% of the Palestinian infrastructure has been destroyed in Gaza. So, what are you even talking about? And, like, the amount of people being killed in Gaza. What are you even talking about? You're not even, like, hoping anything. You're you're helping the Israeli government, like, destroy stuff and kill people. But you're not helping the Palestinians. ...is about to meet with a close ally that publicly supports a ceasefire in Gaza. Can you just talk to us about whether the president's thinking on that has evolved at all? You know, is he a little bit closer to potentially supporting that publicly than, say, a month ago? Has his thinking on that evolved at all? We haven't changed uh, in, in terms of our desire to see an extended pause uh, so that we can get all the hostages home with their families where they belong, so we can get additional security assistance in, and we can see a reduction in the violence. We are well, sucks for the three hostages that were just killed 
in Rafa by an Israeli bombing, uh, they'll never be able to see their family. I wonder how uh, Biden and this dude feels about that. I mean, what, this en entire thing is, was supposed to be about the Israeli government trying to save these hostages, and the Israeli government is killing hostages because they're just bombing any building that they see. We are still focused on trying to get an extended humanitarian pause. I'm talking about a permanent pause. I know what you're asking. We're, what I'm saying is we support and continue to support an extended humanitarian